Welcome back to the second part of this video showing how to do the hydrophobic coating for the electrovetting on the open drop. To do the coating I built this simple clean room. It's quite important to work clean if you want to get good coatings. In the clean room there is a spin coater made from an old hard drive and a hot plate. The air in the cabin is filtered through this HEPA filter. First step is to clean the carrier with the foil that we prepared before. For this I use a ultrasonic bath. The bath contains pure water, a mixture with isopropanol and some soap. I put uh, the carrier in the bath for about 15 minutes at 60 degrees. Celsius and then rinse it with pure water. I use this um, clean room paper um, to dry the foil and the carrier and then put it on a hot plate at around 80 degrees to completely dry. Once the glass uh, coated, the coated uh, glass and the carrier are dry, <coughs> I measure on which side is a conductive of this ITO coated glass to make sure to apply the hydrophobic layer to the conductive side. Next I attach the glass on a plastic carrier using Kapton tape. This carrier has a, just the right side to fit into the spin coater and is then more easy to attach to the spin coater. I use gloves to make sure that no grease or dust is coming onto the clean surface. Next I take the carrier with the foil attached and also put it on an acrylic base to install it in the spin coater. I just use a small screws uh, for this and screw it onto this uh, rotating base in the spin coater. I may be going to do a separate video on how I built this spin coater, it's basically inspired by a video I found online by Applied Science. Once the carrier installed, I spin it up and then apply the liquid coating. The coating I use is a Fluoropel from Citonix, it's a fluoropolymer solution and I use about 150 to 200 microliter and I spin it on the rotating carrier or on the rotating foil. I've tested with um, applying it um, while it's not spinning and spinning I'm not quite sure what is getting better results. The spinning is about 30 seconds um, to at a speed of 3000 rpm. Then I remove it and put the carrier um, back to the hot plate. On the hot plate I first cure it at 80 degrees for about 20 minutes and then increase the temperature to 150 degree. I did the same also with the glass slides. It's not shown in the video as I lost a piece of filming there. 
once um, both the slide, the glass slide and the film are cured for about half an, an hour at 150 degrees, I remove the Kapton tape on the both sides. So this exposes the conductive part of the glass again and then I use this Cooper tape, which is a special Cooper tape um, with double, or which is conductive on both sides, so it has a glue that is conductive on the back. Uh, you can get this for quite cheap at SparkFun and other stores that have the same material. And then I take a part of this tape and attach it to the side so that the conductive glue is in contact with the ITO. I cut it to the right size and then I fold over in the overlapping part so that I have a connection from the bottom side of the glass to the top. I do this on the second end uh, in the same way. Here I put on top another piece of just regular black tape to make a, big, a, big, a bigger gap. You want to experiment a bit uh, with the gap that you want to have between the foil and the glass. It's between one or two layers of tape I found to be best. Next I attach with another piece of this double-sided Cooper tape to make the contact between the glass slide and the frame of the carrier. This PCB carrier has a metallic frame as you can see so then it can be connected to the ground or to the feedback of the device. Next is testing um, the carrier on the open drop device for this I use um, water and some ink, it's just regular um, ink and purified water. To apply the foil carrier to the open drop I use some mineral oil that I apply with a piece of paper to the top of the electrodes. Here um, I found that maybe the um, mineral oil is not the best solution or you want to try with different um, mineral oils. I think it's quite important to have a close contact without air between the foil and the electrodes. If this oil film um, is the best or if there are other solutions, uh, it's still part of the research I'm doing. Once um, the, foil up, the oil applied, the foil on the carrier can be attached on the device uh, by means of the four screws. This will also make the contact between the conductive glass and the device. Since the glass slide is only attached on one side, it can be opened like this. And that's quite uh, convenient to then put the test droplets or liquids into the device. I take a drop of uh, one or two microliters, and put it uh, directly on the foil and close the glass top cover. And now power the device and turn on the high voltage with the little joystick I can now move around the droplets and test um, the coating. As you can see the droplets is moving um, sometimes there are electrodes that work, don't work mm, that well. It can be that there is a bad coating or a little dust um, and I don't want to hide this in this video so that you see that sometimes um, if the coating is not good, it doesn't work as well in this, as in these demo videos. 
Generally, we, we got quite good results with this um, coating and we we'll are continue our research on low cost electro wetting. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.